greetings fellow humans so this is a quick demonstration of these things called polarization filters you can see polarization filters they have sort of fringes in them which allow only light of certain orientation to pass through it and if the light has the same orientation then it's allowed to pass through it for example if you if I rotate this correctly this should now this should be brighter than if I rotate it like so. You can see that these filters have 45 degrees uh, angle to their fringes. And in this case the fringes are like this because they are not allowing the, the light which is horizontal and reflecting of the road to, to properly reflect, uh, to properly pass through. Whereas this orientation is parallel with the direction of the, or the oscillation of the light and can pass through it. If you have two of these, like so, you see they need to have, like they, if, if they align them properly or if I flip this one like this, they act as one because they have the same orientation and whatever passes through the first one passes through the second one as well. So they behave as one. If I had the third one and this is the one, then yes, there are some losses, but, but in effect it, it works as one filter. So uh, the, these are all good. And when I showed you the thing with only two of them, when I misaligned them by 90 degrees, then whatever passes through the first one cannot pass through the second one. Like, of course, you can still see some of the light coming through, but that's because these are not perfect. But the point holds that, that if they are parallel, they pass the same light. If they are 90 degrees to each other, they hold no light at all. So you can see that if you take the third one, sort of slice it in between, this still stops. But now what happens if I put it in the blocking position? Then when I put it in here or here, here or there, it does not matter, but you probably just saw it here. When I push to this one, 45 degrees, uh, with, a, with a 45 degrees angle, there is some light passing through it. You can see that suddenly a light starts passing through it. You can see the road in there, whereas in here it's mostly bluish and dark, so that no light passes through it. But here, it's actually interesting, you can see that if it's misaligned with one of these angles by 45 degrees, approximately, like half, or not half, it's like square root of 2 or 1 over that or something like that. It's, it's all the angles and phases and stuff. Anyway, you can see that, that this is quite an interesting effect, and it works with the other 45 as well. And if I flip it, well, I mean, you know what, I, what happens when I flip, flip a thing, when I flip it like so, it becomes like that, because the, if it would be linear like this, then it wouldn't make sense, because it wouldn't matter whether you put it here or here, but because these are 45 degrees across, it means that whenever you flip it like that, it changes, like, it gets a mirror image like that you would flip into the, the other one. Anyway, so I just thought that I would show you this interesting effect, where even though that no photon that entered this device had vertical orientation, but every photon that leaves it has vertical orientation, it's interesting, like what happens in the middle, why does addition of the, of the second one create this effect? And that is somewhat analogous to trying to explain stuff like quantum measurements, because without the middle one, there are no photons which would have any bit of, uh, let's say, vertical polarization or something like that. So, uh, well, in would go only one of them, and out would go only the other, and there is the transition between the two where none of the photons actually had this original property, but after leaving the second filter, it somehow does. It's just an interesting view as what happens when you look at photons from the 
point of view of probabilistic particles and stuff like that. Well, anyway, I think it was enough for a single video, and I hope to see you soon. Be good until then.